Well, hello. Welcome to a new series here on the channel where I will be going over the newest discs that have been PDGA approved. This is a brand new series. If you are new to the channel, please, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that little notification bell dingo witchy and uh, you'll be updated with other videos that I put up on my channel. That would be great. First up, I'm going to be talking about a disc that was approved by the PDGA on January 10th. It is the Prodigy FX4. If you don't know a whole lot about Prodigy, the FX series falls right in between the F and the H series. The F series obviously being fairways and the H series are hybrids, which are between drivers and fairway drivers. Kind of confusing, but once you learn the Prodigy system, it's actually really easy to follow. This disc in particular, the FX4, uh, appears to be a flippier version of the FX2. Most of you know the FX2 being Prodigy's kind of Firebird, uh, kind of Raptor, uh, throwing the little RPM love there, kind of Kiwi kind of disc. Uh, it's a good forehand disc, something like that. A uh, little bit of over stability, well quite a bit of over stability to be age. So if you don't know how Prodigy's numbers work, the one would be very overstable and the higher the number goes means more understable. This means that the FX4 should be a flippier version of the FX2 within the same speed range. There's a little bit of information on the Infinite Discs website about the FX4 and it says that the flight numbers are 9, 3, negative 3, 2. Most of you may know the Prodigy does not assign flight numbers to their discs like they do on the ACE line that they produce. This leads me to believe that these flight numbers are just an estimation on what Infinite Discs would think the FX4 would fly to in comparison to the FX2. If you check out the picture on the PDGA website that I have on the thumbnail and I will pop it up right here, this looks to be the best stamp Prodigy has ever had on a disc. <laughs> Seriously though, it looks like Possibly it's 400 plastic, could be 750, don't really know. Uh, it has that transparent look to it, similar to like a champion style plastic or something like that. I couldn't find a whole lot more information about the Prodigy FX4 online, aside from what I found on Infinite Discs. There's really no information on the Prodigy website just yet. That's it for this video, and as I always say, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching.